bell ringer. So what I want you to make sure you do is have your um, chart out or your notes out that I gave you yesterday. So either the notes that you took or the chart that I gave you, make sure that's out. Okay, so guys, somewhere along that chart or on your notes, you should have written out King Henry died by drinking chocolate milk, right? So you should have written out somewhere horizontally the letters for the prefixes that you have something to reference to when we're talking about moving these, okay? Now today we're gonna go, I'm gonna go over these just like we did yesterday, and then I'm also gonna go over another way that you can do these problems if you weren't quite sure with the way we did yesterday, okay? All right, so let's look at number one. We have 1.57 meters. And we want to convert that to centimeters. So where do we find meters on our chart? Base, right? Meters, grams, liters. Those are your base units. So we're going to go from base to the C for centimeters. So we're going to go 1, 2 to the right. So your decimal starts here. You're going to go 1, 2 to the right. So you should have 157. Okay? 157. Number two was 2.098 deciliters, and we are going to change that to deciliters. So we are going from the DA to the D. So again, we're going to go two to the right. So decimal is here, one, two. So 209.8 is what you should have. Okay. Everybody good so far? Questions? Okay, the third one, 794 hectograms, and we're changing it to kilograms, right? So we're going to go from the H to the K, and this time we're going in which direction? To the left. So in a whole number, where do you find the decimal point? Right. At the end, right? All the way at the end. So we're going to go one back to the left, so you should have 79.4. Okay, 79.4. So the decimal and a whole number is always at the end, and this time we had to go one back to the left. Any questions on that? Okay, so here's what I want you to put in your um, class discussion slash learning gap box. We are going to, I'm going to show you another way that you can do these problems, okay? What I want you to do is grab a calculator out of the box, or grab your own calculator, but grab a calculator out of the box. Okay, now here's what I want you to do. I want you to type in 10 times 10 probably know what you're going to get, but type in 10 times 10 anyway. What do you get? 100, right? 10 times 10 is 100. Now multiply it by 10 again. What do you get? 1,000. Multiply it by 10 again. What do you get? 10,000. What's happening each time you multiply by 10? You're adding a zero, right? Okay, now keep that number there, 10,000. Now divide by 10. What do you get? 1,000, divide by 10 again. 100, divide by 10 again. 10, so when you're dividing, what's happening each time? You're taking away a zero. So now let's talk about why we can just move the decimal point and what the other way you can do these problems are. Type into your calculator 1.25. 1.25. Now multiply by 10. What do you get? 12.5. So I had you type in 1.25, you multiplied by 10, now you hit 12.5, right? Multiply by 10 again. 125, multiply by 10 again. 1250. 
So what's happening each time you multiply by 10 to the decimal point? Decimal to the right. It's moving to the right one time each time you multiply by 10, right? When you get to here, what do you have to start adding? Zero. Zeros. Okay, now go back to 1.25 again. So 1.25, now divide by 10. If you divide by 10, what's happening to the decimal point now? It's going to the left. So the first one you should have had 0.125, right? If you divide by 10 again, it'll move to the left another time you had to add a zero, right? And it would keep doing that. So guys, that's why we can move the decimal point when we do metric conversions, because metric system is base 10. So everything is based on multiplying or dividing by 10. So I want you to take a look at this graphic. This is another way to look at metric conversion. So as we're moving bigger, okay, so this starts at milliliter and goes to kiloliter, right? So we're going from our M all the way to K. As, the, as they are getting bigger, they're getting bigger by 10 times each time. So a centiliter is 10 times bigger than a milliliter. A deciliter is 10 times bigger than a centiliter, but it's 100 times bigger than a milliliter, right? Or a kiloliter is 10 times bigger than a hectoliter. It's 100 times bigger than a decaliter. It's 1,000 times bigger than a liter. So as they get bigger, you're multiplying by 10. As they get smaller, what are you doing? Now you're dividing. So instead of just simply moving the decimal point when you do these problems, if you want, you can do multiplication and division. Now it's opposite, I'm gonna write this problem down and go back. It's opposite of what you see on that chart, but I'm gonna show you why in a minute. So 6,235 millimeters, and I wanna to go to meters. So I'm gonna go back to that chart. Okay, so I wanna go from millimeters, and, and remember that this could be millimeters or milligrams, right? So I want to go from here to here, to the base unit. So I'm going to go from milla to the base unit. Now on this chart, it's showing you that it's getting bigger by 10 each time, right? But in order to convert it, if you're going from smaller to bigger, we're going to divide because we would be moving the decimal point to the left because we're going to the left on the chart. So if you could think about it almost like a number line, when you go to the left on the number line, what's happening? You're getting smaller. When you go to the right on the number line, what's happening? You're getting bigger. So if we need to move to the left, think division because it's getting smaller. If you need to go to the right, think multiplication because it's getting bigger. So let's try this. Take your calculator, type in 6,235. 6,235. And we're going to go, we're going from millimeters to meters, so that's one, two, three. So you need to divide, to, to divide by 10 three times. So 6,235 divide by 10. It equals, then divide by 10 again. It equals, then divide by 10 one more time. And you should get 6.235, right? So if you are having trouble understanding what to do with the decimal or how to move it or where it starts, you can do multiplication and division using the calculator to solve these problems. Okay? So let's look at another one. Except I don't really want to do the middle one because it's going in the same direction again. We're going to skip down to the third one for... No, no we're not. No, we're not. We're going to second one. That's right. 1.98 decagrams. And I want to go to decigram. This is right. This one in this direction. So if I start here and I go over to here, which direction am I moving? To the right. So what do I want the number to do? Get bigger, right? So am I going to multiply or divide? Multiply. And from deca to deca, it's 1, 2. So type in 1.98 to your calculator. 1.98. And multiply by 10 twice. 1.98 times 10. And then 1.98 times 
times 10 again. And what do you get? 198. Okay. Last one is 152 centigrams. Now I want to go to grams, so I'm going from the C to the base unit. So how many times am I going to have to multiply or divide? Two. Twice, because it's two steps, right? One, two. If I'm moving to the left, what's happening to the number? Is it getting bigger or smaller? Smaller. smaller. So do you have to multiply or divide? Divide. Divide. So you need to type in 152. Divide by 10 once. And then divide by 10 one more time. Point five two, right? Question. Okay, so in the um, gap closing learning or let's see, learning gap class discussion box on your um, bell ringer doc, this is what I want you to write. If the unit, type this into your document, please. If the unit is getting bigger, if the unit is getting bigger. So that means if we're going from this way, this way. So if we're moving to the left, then you divide. If the unit is getting smaller, which means we're going to the right, then multiply.
Number five, six point zero two decigrams. Number six, eight hundred meters. Number seven, thirty decimeters. Number eight, zero point two five five two decagrams. Number nine, six millimeters. And number ten, fifteen hundred deciliters. Are there any in particular that you have questions about? 